video. We're at Success Series this week at the St. Rose Office. Woo! And we're doing an interview. And we're doing an interview with Mr. Dan Mum, who also runs the Success Center that everybody should come to every day but Tuesday, 9 a.m. Okay, so we're gonna do expired, right? Let's do it. Okay, so I'm gonna be expired. I won't be too obnoxious. <laughs> All right. Right now, right. but listen, we're, we're, the reason I'm not looking at him is because he's over the phone, and when you role play, you shouldn't be looking at each other. That's why I got, I'm not rude, I just, we, we can't be looking at yeah, each other. Yeah, it messes everything up. Really good. <laughs> yeah. so. All right, Ray Ray? Hello. Hello, Rick? Yes. Hey, Rick, this is Dan. I'm a realtor with Berkshire Hathaway. I was calling on Main Street oh, yeah. and saw it come off the market. Mm -hmm. Did you end up selling that, or are you still no. the owner there? No, no, not moving now. Not moving. Well, hey, I can definitely understand. It looks like a great house. Did you get any offers when it was listed? No, no, none at all. That's why I'm frustrated by this. That's why I'm, I think, you know, I think we're gonna stay now. I'm just gonna stay. Well, yeah, I can definitely understand that. That's why I was calling. I was calling to see when you might consider a more proactive agent for the job of selling the home. Proactive? Well, like, have you have you seen my home? Were you in it when it was on the market? No, no, I'm taking a look at it right now, and it looks like a beautiful house. Why did the last agent say it didn't sell? That's a very good question. I don't know. I haven't talked to that person in at least six, seven weeks. Seven weeks? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. That's a problem. How did you end up choosing that agent for the job? Not, and that's even a better story. It was, uh, you know, it was my wife's sister's cousin's uncle or something like that. <laughs> okay, so it was a referral from a friend. And was, let yeah. me ask you, I know you said that you're not considering selling now, but if you were to still make the move, how would you end up choosing the next agent? Are you still considering someone new? Well, if we were, I would, I would have to choose. I mean, I'd have to feel comfortable that this person can sell my home because the last person didn't sell my home. They didn't sell it. Well, yeah, that's why I'm calling you. I'd love to apply for the job. Now, like I said, though, this is a great area. What was making you think about selling to begin with? Well, you know, my company's relocating me if I can sell my home, and that kind of is all screwed up now, too, so I'm reevaluating re that as well. Reevaluating it. Well, yeah, I don't blame you. I know that can be frustrating. So you had a job transfer, is that right? Well, it's yeah, it's potential. It's a potential. Okay, and if you had an offer in the next 30 days, would that be a problem for you? Uh, well... Is that possible? Well, yeah, that's exactly why we need to meet. I'd love to show that to you. But tell me more about the job transfer. What's the situation with that? Have they given you more time? Um, if I if I choose to put the home back on the market, they will give me more time. Yes. Okay, they really good. want me to move to the Bay Area. To the Bay Area. That's yeah. exciting. And yeah. do you have any family going with you, or is it just you? Uh, just my wife and kids. Oh, good. So I guess that would be kids. family. How does your wife feel about the move? She she definitely wants to go. She wants to go? Yeah. Okay, great. So how would you feel if you had a confident agent who knew that they could get the home sold in the next 60 days? Well, that's the thing, because I've gotten calls from other agents, and um, everybody sounds confident, but uh, I didn't sell my house, so I don't know where everybody was when my home was on the market, but... Mm -hmm. <laughs> didn't know where they were. Well, listen, that's the first thing that I want to talk to you about. We could get this home on the market and get it sold. I'm very confident I can do that. Do you have any time today around 2, or do you think later around 4 would be better? Um, just to come by and take a look at it? Well, no, I'd like to take a look at it, but I'd also like to talk to you about getting the home listed and sold. Well, you can you do that, right? All right, can you, I'm going to give you my email. Can you email me something? I'll take a look at it, and then I'll get back to you. Is that? Absolutely. Yeah, I'd be happy to email that to you. What's the best email address? Um, I, so I didn't sell my home .com. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't sell my home.com. Okay, listen, Rick, this is what I'll do. I'm going to send you all the information now to that email address in the next 30 minutes. Will you take a look at that when you get it? Yes, I will. Okay, great. Now, usually, when you and your wife, when are you normally home together? Is it in the mornings or afternoons? What day is usually best for you? Um, I work out of the house, and she's normally home between, uh, she's always home by 5. By 5. Okay. Well, I'd love to meet with you later in the afternoon because you said if you had an offer in the house and it made sense, you'd still consider it, right? I, I would. Yeah, I think would. I would. And you're not going to do anything unless it makes sense for you, right? That's correct. Okay. So when we meet, we'll go over all that information. This way, you can decide what's best. How does that sound? Okay. Okay. So do you have any time around 6 or do you think later on it would be better, maybe further after work, maybe around 7? I could actually do 5.30 if that works. Sure. Yeah. 5.30 would be perfect. Uh, we were, you said your wife will be home then as well. Is that yeah. Right? That's why it's before we eat, so that would be perfect. Okay. Sounds good. Let's plan at 5.30. I'll send you that email now. Take a look at it and then I'll plan on meeting you today. Okay. All right. All right. Let's cool. Go. I'll see you then. All right. Thanks. <laughs>